Hey, Fiber Hum Michelle, I got a quick uh, couple of things I want to say. I'm in my studio and I keep talking about an art show, and people are like, Well, when's it going to start? And you know what? I've done my uh, paintings. Um, but you know, the, the time it takes to like frame them, I'm so new with this. I was never a painter, you know, I was a singer, but, but you know, when you're a, a, a creative individual, you do whatever you have to, to make a living or to do what you want to at that time, because that's what you do. You know, if you have to learn something, is it too dark? Let me see if I can put a little bit more light. Then you have to learn. Like, I don't know how to light videos. I tried to hire people, but then, you know, people want so much money per hour, which I can't afford to pay them. I told them I got a lot of stuff to sell, um, other people's paintings, antiques, and stuff like that. But, you know, just to find anyone to back you up is extremely hard um, because most people are not entrepreneurs. And uh, it's difficult for them to see that, you know, sometimes you have to put your own money into something to make a living done that my whole life so it's easy for me except there's just no um, energy to complete most of the tasks I want to but okay I just have a few ideas I'm making this video and I probably won't show it but um, when I do my video or my art show I was a singer from way back I got a picture of me I'm in a suit my grandma made me and because she made all my clothes in Blandy Newton, and they were so damn cute. I'm going to put that picture in there. And I got this little uh, play guitar, and I'm going, ah, because I'm always singing. I'm always singing. I'm kind of like that new show, New Girl, you know. I should have my own theme song because I just sing about everything when I'm happy. I didn't realize um, that till uh, my son, Brian, uh, he was the one that pointed it out to me. He's a smart guy. He pointed Sometimes it takes somebody else to know, you know, to show you. He's like, he's like, I was his other mother, even though I don't hear from him now, which kills me. But uh, he used to say, you know, I was the one when you're happy because you sing. So I've been singing a lot. Um, and every painting here, every single one, um, I didn't set out to paint something. I set out because I had been in bed, um for a long time. 2004, I had the last straw to a very uh, fun-filled, exciting, tough life. Um, I think I was always sick, you know, with autoimmune, but never really, really remember feeling like a normal person. But I made the best of it, man. I did whatever I wanted to do. I rode Harleys across the country. I'd fly to San Francisco and... Uh, you know, go over the, the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, you know, I I just was unshakable because I'd had so many near-death experiences that I thought, what the hell? You know, um, I was bucked off horses when I was young, kicked in the head. I hear these people, and I had uh, my younger brother. That's how I started painting guy uh, not too long ago in 2008. Uh, he died because he hit his head, but, you know, of course there was more to it, as there is with any story. But, um, so, anyway, I was in bed from 2004 till 2008. When I started painting, I found three canvases at a yard sale. Um, they were those old, you know, icky ones you see in the, in the old motels that they're all trying to, you know, redo. And I never painted a day in my life. My older brother has so much talent that he could paint anything he sees, which I never thought. I always said, I can't even sign my name. How could I paint? You know, my talent was uh, was performing, was singing, um, was doing something that people said I couldn't do. I always loved it when people said, oh, you can't make a living singing. Well, yes, I did. Thank you very much. Um... I went to see my brother in New York City just, you know, just to visit and uh, went to buy a microphone at Sam Ash. There was a, a poster up there to try out for a Broadway musical. My God, my dream when I was a kid in Blanding, Utah was to just watch a musical. And now, 
Well, I went to see one because my brother and uh, and uh, his his amazing partner took me to see. Um, I'll never forget it. My first Broadway musical. Of course, now I'm forgetting the name, but it's the one where the helicopter comes in, and it's the redo story of the Asian woman, um, you know, left by her American man during the war. I'm sure the name will come to me in a minute, but I just remember being that Broadway theater with my brother and the most important important person in my life then, and his his amazing partner and um, crying it, because it was a dream realized. A little girl from Utah and I'm sitting there in, a, in New York City watching a Broadway musical. You know, to me it was like amazing. You know, when you leave Utah and you're broke and you're young and you've been supporting yourself since you're 13, well, anything's pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, Getting out of Utah was amazing. They actually, I went to a Friday's or I think it was a TJF Friday's and they served alcohol in Texas uh, with your meal. I thought that was amazing. But we're talking ancient now. I realize how old I am when I look at these kids on TV. It's amazing how we don't realize how old we are till we see these kids on TV, actors now. And they're getting ready to kiss. We go, they're too young to kiss on TV. Well, no, we are just getting old and they could be our kids but anyway I'm rambling but you guys know I do that I'm in my studio these are some of my paintings um when I walk in here at least I feel like I may have accomplished something right uh oh I think somebody's coming in here which is bad because I'm gonna have to cut this short because I wrote a song and I want to sing it I think I will upload this one this is half my studio and I got some questions that I need some interaction. These are my dogs barking, and I'll be right back. Thanks.